All right, so um, there's been recent concern throughout the city over uh, musty smelling water coming out of the faucet. Uh, the source has been tracked to the uh, unusually warmer weather calling, causing algae blooms in some of the reservoirs. Um, the water is uh, said to be testing fine and that they're currently working on getting that down. But uh, there, that's an interesting photo there of the uh, Alvarado treatment plant in the distance behind Lake Murray. Uh, although Lake Murray, most of you think of being in La Mesa, is actually uh, on the very edge of San Diego city limits. So it is a city of San Diego reservoir. Um, anyhow, moving on. Uh, there's ongoing concern. I feel like we should just have the 101 Ash Street moment on this update because every week there's something about it. Now the concern is that the proposed settlement uh, would actually divert funds from capital projects to pay for the 101 Ash Street settlement. I mean, less paved roads, less infrastructure, less everything, thanks to a real estate deal gone bad. Um, so anyhow, this is the ongoing saga, but that's the latest concern uh, on that. In La Jolla, uh, a video went viral of, I don't know if you've seen it, but some of the, the sea lions actually chased some people off the beach. Um, there's been uh, many viral videos that have been dubbed over it. Um, let's see if I can play it. Oh, there it is. Um, you can see the seals chasing people off the beach. Of So um, it's like the perfect get off my lawn, young people. <laughs> yeah, I saw one of the pages that posted it said, this is my beach, not yours. Um, Locals anyhow. only. <laughs> even, uh, yeah, there, there's even, I even saw a voiceover of the, of the seals sounding like they were gang banging on the beach goers. <laughs> my beach, fool. Anyhow. Um, there's the viral video, Make, La Jolla Cove making the news. Um, here's a, an interesting article about the 24 seven um, parking lot. Uh, a lot of the criticism is that it's an RV camp. And this article just highlights how basically it's still difficult to live in a, in a safe parking lot, even though it's 24 hours a day. Um, you know, there, there's still limited resources and you are living in a hot parking lot. So. Um, although it's not a permanent solution, you can kind of see an example of, of one of those overnight parking lots there. Uh, it's a safe parking lot that the city has opened up so people aren't parked on the streets. San Diego has hired a new uh, director for the Office of Immigrant Affairs. Uh, it's a new city office and uh, Rita Fernandez has been hired uh, for that role. Uh, so we'll see the ongoing expansion in that area. San Diego now has a higher uh, percentage of million dollar homes than New York City. I believe the percentage was 13%, yeah, 13.5% of uh, owner occupied homes um, in the US is 4.7% 4, 4 of all owner occupied homes in the US were valued a million or more. In San Diego, based on census data, 13.5, um, which was fourth highest in the share of million dollar and up home. Number one metro area was San Jose with 52% uh, due to proximity to Silicon Valley, San Francisco at 40% and LA at 18%. Um, so what that tells me is those three markets are still great places to prospect for our relocations. Uh, the rest of the country, uh, San Diego is looking pretty expensive. Um, New York is fifth highest, so right behind us at 10%. Um, so I've always thought of New York as being super expensive, but apparently San Diego is more. Moving on, um, the Pride Parade is this weekend from 10 to three. Um, obviously they have a schedule going on for that, but also uh, be aware of all the traffic disruptions along the 163 and University Avenue. Um, so that's going on this weekend. Um, the ongoing debate between housing density and neighborhood character, um, you know, renters have now become uh, a voice in that. 
conversation, obviously, with the need for, for more housing and more expensive rents. Um, renters who had typically not had a political voice are starting to organize and become more of a force in policy. So keep your eyes open for that new dynamic. San Diego has a new park initiative called Rediscovering Community. Uh, Parks and Recs is um, basically reaching out to artists to create new public installations and performances at local parks um, so that they can um, you know, activate these spaces and provide more programming. Um, I, I've seen a lot of that going on now throughout the county with some of the Summer in the Park series, et cetera. Um, so the, the city is, is jumping on to that trend and, and definitely expanding the, this project. The Ocean Beach Pier is now open and it's saying the crowds are flocking to it after being closed for so long. Uh, it's finally open again as of this past Friday morning and people did not waste time getting out there. So if you haven't been to the Ocean Beach Pier in a while since it was closed January, 2021, it's now open again. So There is a ballot initiative for 2024 uh, that would protect funding for libraries and parks. Um, so it will be on the November, 2024 ballot uh, to protect a funding source for uh, the city of San Diego. Uh, it's backed by the Library Foundation. So expect another um, ballot initiative for increased taxes to pay for libraries and parks. And then finally, I'll wrap up, wrap up with some food news. Here's Yelp's top places to eat in San Diego. Um, number one is Tan Tin Chai in City Heights, vegan and Vietnamese. Number two is Crafted Greens in Al Cajon. I'll just go through the top and then I'll, I'll share the Yelp blog post in the chat. Gelati and Picati in North Park, Fire Deli in Otay Mesa, and the Cabeza in Chula Vista. So um, the ongoing list is here. So I'll share that in the chat. And then finally, the, after much on and off and on and off, and it is gonna get built and it's not gonna get built, it looks like the Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles uh, will be opening up in Barrio Logan. Um, I drove by there the other day and it finally looks like construction is underway for years. It was um, six years in, in limbo, um, but it's right there on National Avenue and 6B, just about four blocks south of Petco Park. It will be the chain's ninth location. And um, yeah, Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles coming to Barrio Logan uh, and I'll paste that Yelp link in the chat. That is your city update for today.